Hello, I'm Dr. Kamasi Kasharo, Dr. K from the University of Wolverhampton. Now, me and the STEM response team have been putting out, or we, and we are going to be putting out, loads of fantastic science stuff all over social media to help people at home learn fantastic science, technology, engineering and maths over the time that we're all locked away indoors, having to keep ourselves safe from the coronavirus. And, uh, you know, we are doing all this. We are doing all this fantastic science stuff. And, um, but I was, I was thinking, I was thinking, well, we're doing all this science stuff, it's fine, but how can we make science work for us? And uh, so I had a little think. And um, what, what, what I thought to myself, well, what, what's the one thing that I really want? And um, the one thing I really want is, is fresh food. All right? I'm, a, I'm a vegan and um, I really like vegetables and I really like homegrown vegetables and I really like things with loads and loads of nutrition in them. And I was thinking, well, what can I do? You know, what can I grow at home? You know, I'm very fortunate to have a garden and um, that means I could grow my own vegetables. But I want vegetables now. And we're not meant to go to the shops very much, you know, and fresh food doesn't really last that long. So I thought, well, I'm gonna have to try to make some vegetables at home. And one thing just sprung to my mind, right? Sprouts. That's right, sprouts. Now, I'm not talking about Brussels sprouts. I'm talking about sprouted seeds. So I was, I was rummaging around in my, in my cupboard and I found these. Right, a bag of green lentils. And I thought to myself, well, you know, I'm sure these are sprouts. They're just seeds. They really want to sprout. I mean, they've got all that nutrition inside them, all that protein ready to be unlocked, to turn into a plant. They have the power of new life inside them. Now, I thought, well, let's make this work for me. And this is something I've done before a long time ago. So I thought, well, I'm going to show everybody how to do it because if you can treat these in the right way, you can actually make these grow and make a really nutritious vegetable that's absolutely packed with life. In fact, it is alive. It's the freshest vegetable you can eat. It's not like just getting some, um, some lettuce off the supermarket shelf. It's absolutely fantastic. So I thought I'd show you how to make some lentil sprouts. So what I've got here, I've got my lentils there, but what I need is a sprouting jar. So I've got this here, and um, so I've got an old glass jar, right? And I've got some, um, I've got a brazzle, you know, like a tool for budging holes in things. And I've made, you can see there, a lid with loads of holes in. I'm gonna use that as a strainer. What I've got in here is some, some lentils, and I'm gonna put the lentils in my hand in there, all right? And um, so all I need to do, first of all, this is stage one, is soak these overnight, like you would do many pulses. Then what I'm gonna do, right, so I'm just gonna put some water in them, fill the jar up, and I'm not gonna fill it up all the way, this is just for an example. Then what you're gonna do, in the morning, right, so I always do this sort of like at tea time while I'm getting the dinner ready, is um, you just, I'm gonna soak them, and then in the morning when I get up for breakfast, I'm just gonna let the water drain away. And then on the very first day, what I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse that again, just once. Okay, just to get any of the slimes. Sometimes some seeds make, make sort of like a sticky substance, like a mucilage. All right, now I'm going, to, I'm going to let that drain away there. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to leave that on a sunny windowsill to let the magic happen over the next few days. And actually, this is a way you can sprout a variety of different things. So if you've got some green lentils in your cupboard, you can sprout them. If you've got some chickpeas, dried chickpeas in your cupboard, you can sprout them. There's loads of things, mung beans, you name it. You know, things like kidney beans and stuff like that, you can't sprout, they're poisonous. But, unless they're cooked, of course, but things like lentil sprouts are absolutely fantastic. And over the next few days, we're gonna watch this magic happen. Well, good morning. It's day, uh, day one of our super sprouting adventure. And uh, what I've done is, like I said in, in the last clip, 
I've, uh, I've soaked our lentils, our green lentils, in my sprouting jar overnight. And uh, you can see, I've got them here, and you can, you can see just how much they've actually swelled up. They've got, they're really like doubled in size almost. So what I need to do now, I need to get that sort of that initial sprouting stuff off them. So I'm just going to use our jar lid, which we made into a strainer, remember? And just to pour all that water away. And uh, now don't worry, if some of the uh, lentils look like they have split in half, that's fine. And, and that's actually where some of that biological magic that's now happening inside these seeds, inside these lentils, is going to happen. Because now all those proteins and all that machinery to make new plants has actually started working. Now, I need to rinse this a second time, like I said before, just to get the nasty sort of initial soaking water off. So I'm gonna just rinse them for a second time. Now we need to rinse them once again, around tea time, or at least before you go to bed. Because they need doing morning and evening, every day, until you're happy with your results. So, that's them done. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them, you can see it's quite a nice sunny day today, here in my kitchen, and um, I don't wanna put them directly in the sunlight, I don't want them to get too hot, I don't want them to ferment. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put them in the shade just over here, all right? So they can still get some light, but they are out of the direct sunlight. And then, as I said, I'll wash them this afternoon and we'll see what happens to the seeds, to the lentils, tomorrow morning. Good morning. This is day two of growing our sprouts from our lentils. And um, so, just to recap what we did, we soaked them overnight, then we uh, rinsed them in the morning and then the evening yesterday. And we saw how those, those seeds, those lentils, actually took up water and grew and started to split. But this morning, actually, we've got something very special to show you. So on uh, our lentils, I haven't washed them yet, all right? They need to have their, their morning bath. But you can see that from some of the lentils, if you look closely, are a tiny little protruding rootlet. And that's called a radical. That's the first root a seed will produce. Now, that will eventually lock that seed into the soil. And as it gets longer, some primordial leaves, some very, very, very basic leaves will be produced from the top of the seed. And they're called cotyledons. And that'll be produced from an area of the seed called the pumule, which is the sort of the top part of that seed. Now, if we planted these in the ground, they'd go on to grow a lentil plant if we gave it the right conditions. And, um, but we're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is actually grow them until we just start to get those first cotyledons, those first leaves being produced, and then we can eat them. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try, hopefully, to be able to show you uh, a close-up of, of what these sprouts actually look like okay so that's good now you can see that there right and actually you can see some of those little sprouts that are coming out of those lentils some of those little adventurous roots those radicals that are going to start taking nutrients from the surroundings and into that seed itself so that's fab So you saw there actually life emerging from these seeds. But what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna give them their morning bath. And again, I'm gonna do that this afternoon as well to keep them clean. Because of course we don't want any sort of fungus or any bacteria growing on them. I know there will be some, but uh, we wanna keep that down to a minimum. And then we are going to put them on the side and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, it's uh, day three of our uh, sprout power creation and um, a lot's happened overnight and, and you might be able to see that if I just bring that a little bit closer right, and hold that still so the camera can focus. I hope you can see that, that a lot of the seeds now have got these really nice long radical roots growing out of them. And actually, if you could see very closely, 
you can start to see that we've got some little green shoots growing out of those seeds too. So what's happening is now we've got those little cotyledon leaves starting to be produced from our sprouts. And I think with a wash this morning, this afternoon, they'll be ready to eat in the morning. Hello, so it's our final day, it's the last day, it's been four days since we soaked our lentils and um, started the sprouting process. We're making science work for us to get nutrition while we're in isolation. And, uh, and you can see actually now they're ready. And uh, we've got tiny little green leaves. The nutrition is being packed inside these fantastic sprouts because now these little babies can photosynthesize so they can make their own sugars and things like that just from carbon dioxide and sunlight and a little bit of water. And you can see we've got these little green sprouts now coming at the tops of our lentil sprouts. They are fantastic and they are ready to eat. I hope you have a go at home and have a, have a, a go growing some fresh food in just a jar in your kitchen. Don't forget, if you are going to do it, wash them morning and night. And, um, and in four days' time, you'll have some fantastic food. Bye-bye.